Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. This is Petite Plum Crepe Myrtle in two minutes. Petite Plum is actually a dwarf crepe myrtle. I'm six feet tall, so this thing's between seven and eight feet tall. I, I realize that when you say dwarf, I guess people are probably thinking something like this, but it is dwarf in comparison to most crepe myrtles. This one's been in this space for about 23 years. It is a absolutely perfect uh, piece to put on the corner of a foundation. A lot of people put standard crepe myrtles on the corners of foundations and the trunks get this big around and you know they get they try to get 25, 30, 40 feet tall and they're cutting them, having to hack on them uh, every winter. I, I do prune this one about every fourth year or so. I'll get after it pretty hard. I actually shot a video on it about two years ago of me of me doing that and I just went after it really, really hard. It can be done in the late winter. It can be fertilized at the exact same time. This was a purple uh, flowering variety. They're hardy in zone seven to nine. In zone seven, they probably get started flowering sometime mid-June and last until August or so. In zone eight or nine, they would start a little bit earlier than that. They're pretty pest resistant. Um, aphids can be a problem on crepe myrtles, especially when you tuck one up against a foundation like I've done with this one and the air doesn't move around it as well. And in turn, you can get sooty mold, which is a black fungus that grows from the secretion of the aphid, it's kind of nasty, uh, but you will see that sometimes on crepe myrtles. And then they're very deer resistant. So that's not something we need to worry about. Again, pruned in the late winter, fertilized at the same time, not a heck of a lot of maintenance. Tons of showy color, you know, throughout the, uh, throughout the summer season. This variety is not widely available in the trade. And because of that, I'm about to start on some propagation videos very soon. And I'm gonna take some cuttings on this one and I'm going to make some of those cuttings available to you guys. I'll let you know when that happens. So thank you very much for watching this two minute version of this variety. I frequently have a longer version of these videos on my channel that may show me planting them and maybe some additional information that I didn't share in this shortened version. I also have playlists on this channel for very specific needs. If you're looking for screening plants or or foundation plants or shade plants or you're in like zone six or seven I have playlists that include all the plants that will grow in your area so look for those playlists on my channel thanks for watching